Hello, it's Sarah. I just wanted to come on and share a few of my dotting projects. I'm into this dot painting at the moment. Um, mandalas mostly, but you don't have to only do mandalas. This is like a, I don't know, a little disc. It's probably like three by three. I saw these on Pinterest. And so that's what I've done. I've gone on to Pinterest and I'm going to share a couple of the ideas that I found. So I put a little board together, dot painting. So I'm not sure that all of these are even painted. This is a sequin butterfly. Um, this is beads, but it just kind of, it looks like dots. So this, this definitely looks like dots. This actually looks like dots too, but it could be beads or stitching, you know, so, but these are the ones that I love. Now this looks like it's painted underneath, so it's not just on a black background. Um, and then there are just a minimal amount of dots, although there's a lot of dots. Um, this says, well it doesn't say, but it kind of looks like embroidery almost. This is definitely dots. Look at those fish. Um, this one looks like a pretty basic, simple, you know, you just make a circle. It's a little, I like it. I would probably change the star. That's a very simple star pattern, but I would probably, oh, look at that. Amazing. So, I don't know if you guys know this about me. Look at this octopus. So the outside is kind of just swirled paint, and then there's just a few dots, like it's not completely filled. And then inside him, yeah, I love these. Look at how the water looks like it's shiny. So I just attempted, I, I mean, come on. So you can go through Pinterest and find things that, I don't know if I did that twice, there's a different peace sign. So I'll show you my peace sign. This is something I'm going to do. Okay, wait, wait. We're going to get there. This one. You know, I love dragonflies, so I'm going to paint. I have this big rock, and I think, I mean, it's kind of bumpy, so it, it may be a little difficult, but this was the only, my neighbors were nice enough to give me this rock. They have the big rocks in their, um, at their pool. So, um, I have a lot of projects that I have in mind. I definitely like to try something like this one so um it, it has a combination of um painting and dots um so i'm gonna be doing that but these this was it this was the discs so this is my version of this one didn't come out as well as that one is it's a lot you know neater i think you get the drift but I also didn't use those exact colors. I'm using what I have. I kind of like um, this one with the green. So, you know, I'm going to put my own little spin. Oh, def I have a letter downstairs that I definitely want to grab and do my letter S. Because I did one with polymer. Look, it's just a cat silhouette with just basic dot shapes. All right, that's it. But I also have uh, another board. This is dot painting. This one's called Mandalas. So this one's really mo more about the colors. When I see something, the colors really speak to me. Because that's, oh gosh. Uh, that, oh, and then there were a few other um, dream catcher patterns that I saw. So I saved. That's the one I did. Um, this is Kristen Urig's tutorial so I but that look at that different leaves different colors different shape um, hearts I did a heart too here's my heart it's just dots but it's dimensional and that's an ATC here's the little mandala that I did I did the um, I first played around but look at the oh man the colors the colors so that's what I'm kind of figuring out too at the moment is so when I do my own here this is a piece I did film it but it was really long 
so I don't know that I'll post it. Let me see if I can find, that's showing my, um, I had a, oh, here we go. Put that right in there. So I used green in between because I thought I'm going to go up as high as I can go. There we go. Um, it would kind of represent leaves because with the peace sign, um, and this again is another Kristen Urig tutorial, this peace sign. Mine's smaller. Hers was 12 by 12. This is 10 by 10. And I just created my own little template for my peace sign. And I think this area is one and a half inches or one, at least one and a quarter. And th these are only one. So I wish I would have realized that and made it a bit wider. Just because you can't fit as much in a smaller space. Um, I could still add, and I see a little mess up over here, a little bit of black paint. Um, I could still add a few more dots in the background because she goes from biggest dot to smallest to smaller to smaller to fill in the space. But I do feel like I lose my flowers a little bit. You can see them, you know. Um, I definitely get the flower power vibe from it, right? But this little black, there's a little bit of black, a mistake here. So I'll fix that. I might have varnished this already. So yeah, so then I decided to take that pattern, basically. This is one of those Ikea mirror frames. It's a mirror under here. And they're, they're like $2. I really, I don't remember exactly. I have um, white and black. I want to show you because, oops, sorry, Kiwi. It comes finished. So it has a lovely shine to it or a sheen. It's kind of like a satin finish, I would say. So here it is. This is the, I have it in white and black. It's called Malma. And they're a couple bucks. So, and this is 10 by 10 as well. Um, but the finish on there is very, uh, it's like a satin. So here's a black one, same thing, but it's got, you can hear it too, right? And you can see that the way the light's hitting it and the paint wouldn't stick to it. Well, it, it, it went on fine, but you could push it off after it dried. Then I put on a coat of matte medium and I get, I let it dry, but because I thought that would be better because I couldn't even make lines with my, uh, chalk pencil. It wouldn't stay. But then the matte medium came right off. So then I ended up going in the basement. We happened to have a, um, a, a sanding, what is it called? Belt. A sanding belt machine with a very coarse grit sandpaper on it. And so I managed to get that coating off the front of it and I just left it on the sides so I didn't, you know, go overboard. And I'll probably just paint, I'm not sure, um, because sometimes you can just, you can do a white background and make dots. I haven't done that yet. I've only done the black so far, black background. So that's what I did to this too. I just sanded the whole front off of it and then I painted black on And I'm just using um, my craft paints, Americana, this is called black, lamp black ebony um, running low too because I've been using quite a bit of it uh, and it looked good before I did the green all the flowers just looked good but what I really was trying to figure out was what makes a flower look like a flower a mandala basically what makes a mandala look like a flower and I think it's having these specific petals. Some of them looked more flowery than others. Some looked very, um, more like a star. So I don't know. I think it's pretty. I think the green I chose for sure was way too bright. Um, and so that's why I did top dots over it with a more muted tone of green and some pearlescent paints. Um, the top, top dots are super fun to add and I even add them to the little ones. I have top dots on these little ones too. I mean, it just adds dimension and uh, shine, which I really love anything that has shine. Um, so I think I'll do a little tutorial. Honestly, 
the first part of the tutorial for this one, it wasn't bad. It was, I just talked a lot about, it was just so long, you guys, and I feel bad. Every video I post is like an hour long. Um, I haven't really done anything from this book yet, so I could definitely do a couple of shorter tutorials from this book. Uh, I wanted to read from it real quick what a mandala is. Mandala, the word mandala means circle, it says, and it comes from the ancient language of Sanskrit. Mandalas are spiritually significant in Indian religions, Buddhism, and other spiritual traditions, and are commonly created as a visual representation of the universe. So this has got a big, um, this is a mandala on a Tibetan sankha, a traditional Buddhist painting on cotton or silk applique, um, usually depicting a deity scene or, or a mandala. So I think it's beautiful. And um, it says, to become aware of the mandala is to become conscious of what is going on around us. And it is this consciousness that helps us see our connection to the world and to one another. Um, you know, it's a very meditative process as well um, to just make these dots and as you guys well you might know I say that a lot but I like my craft room is my serenity so it goes right along with that so um, I, I'm definitely gonna pl I'm planning on painting some rocks as well so you may be seeing this for a while um, I also I have a pattern here Teresa gifted me oh i have a shout out to shirley booster too or boster shirley i get your last name first i was calling you shirley booter then boster i think it's boster anywho teresa sent me this um cl from cloth paper scissors of these little dolls they're um fabric dolls and then she, you paint them so they're very whimsical and we're going to do a swap so i want to get to this as well um and we're going to paint from our hearts and just create um, something that represents me. Um, so I have to get to that. But these dots are really um, calling me at the moment. But Shirley sent me this. It's just a little, uh, probably a makeup pouch. But she said that I could keep my dotting tools in here. And I certainly could. And she's such a sweet lady. She thinks of me. This is for my birthday. She sent me a lovely birthday card. And actually, today is my birthday. Um, 54. And we're just, and Joe just is walking. Finally, the rain stopped. And I figured I'd just get on and make a quick video. Because I don't know if I should post this. It's so long. Um, I really feel like I'd rather do a shorter tutorial. Um, something that you guys can do along with me. But I like how it turned out. It's just super bright. But I love color. So, uh, I'm just glad I used this substrate as well. These are these were very cheap. And if you have, I mean, I, I don't know if you could just do it with a, with a coarse grit sandpaper by, your, by hand. But man, I have a sanding machine. It came out so fast and easy. So... Um, but yeah, I think I'll do something. We'll do something on a disc or something. So I'll come back. I just wanted to share that. So I still have this one. I did the, this was the one I wanted to do so much was this, um, dream catcher. So I painted one for Joe. She has, um, two parts to this one, um, tutorial and, uh, she painted one for her husband and so, Joe, and this actually matches my, the room that we just made into his office. The same colors, and so, um, he, he's going to take it to work, so I have to repaint one, too. But this is, like, about a 9 by 12, and this is hanging in my craft room at the moment. Uh, because I just wanted to get a feel for it. It's not exactly because I made it smaller. I left out a couple rows, like, I left out a row of brown, and... Um, but I'm getting better. There is a finesse to it. There's definitely um, a learning curve a little bit. I mean, it's definitely something that anyone could do. I, I would definitely say if you have an interest, give it a shot. It's super easy. Um, and I also wanted to mention these are the tools I've been using. That's what um, 
Shirley was pointing out is these are acrylic crochet hooks that I got at Joann's and I think I talked about this in my the last video that I shared um, dot painting or um, yeah I'm pretty sure I did and so this is two sets there was a big set and a smaller set very reasonable in price they're a mess I should probably clean them um, so yeah so see I could keep them in here and I could keep my compass in here and my chalk pencil so everything would fit um, because you you don't have to have that you could use the an, a pencil eraser and lots of things from your home but I just like to have the tools and then this is a set of three dotting tools as well these are um, what are they called embossing stylus or uh, they're just called stylus but there's three in a pack I got those at Hobby Lobby um, and those are what I really have just been using to do these smaller ones these ATC size all you really need is that are those um, the stylus so and you're good to go um, I think other people you can use the, the point of a pencil so a pencil can make quite a few different size dots um, all right you guys so that's it I'm gonna come back and do something depending I think we might go to the movies or whatever, but I'm really uh, wanting to do some more of this. It's just super easy and meditative, and you get such a beautiful result. I mean, look at that for the cover of a card, like an embellishment. You could do this on paper and then put it on a card. All right, so that's it. Um, I'll be back. Thanks for watching.